ladies showing some signs of some battles today. Black eyes on both of those girls. Maria Stonnik, ranked number two in the red. Top ranked Japanese wrestler, Tusaka in the blue singlet. Both athletes Contact. really low in their stance, working hard at the hands. Contact. Lots of movement with the feet. You want to keep moving. It's harder, no to, harder to attack a moving target. So they're moving constantly, and especially being 48 kilo, they're, they're pretty fast. Blue action. Stodnik with some head fakes and level changes, trying to get the Japanese athlete Tosaka to respond, to, to react a little bit and create an opening to cover that distance Stop. between them and get in on those Passive. legs. First warning. First passivity against the Japanese athlete, Tosaka. No fingers. Stadnik a little longer. A little longer wrestler, a little, a little taller. Sometimes that can be an advantage Action or a disadvantage. Yeah. yeah, getting tied up or tying up. Right attack. Nice arm drag attempt by Stadnik. First warning, red, passive. So a warning for each now. So if we go back to the Japanese who got the first passivity, you get a shot clock. When it's 0-0 zero, zero and a minute and a half in, referees feel the pressure to call a passivity or to start the shot clock. So Try and put some pressure the face, on the red. athletes to take some risk to score some techniques. They know each other well. I'm sure these guys have been scouting each other. Like that's, been, that's their main scouting person they've been training Whoa, against attack. in practice. So. See the direct order. 30 seconds. To Tusaka right. to attack. She did not, so she's put on the 30 second shot clock. Tosaka now has 30 seconds to find a way to score points, or she's going to lose a point to Stadnik, the Azerbaijani. No fingers. What's your mentality in that moment as the athlete? who's in the defensive position. You know she has a shot clock. Are you just going to stay in position and make her come after you? Or are you going you know to keep working if, your game? If it was me, offense? I think you know they're coming. So you don't want to like take any chances because you just got to stay low and be ready. But at the same time, maybe offense is, you know, maybe that's the, your best defense. You did something, yeah. You know? We saw the 30-second shot clock run out. Stotnik gets the point with the inability of the Japanese athlete, Tosaka, to, to make something happen in that 30 seconds. Both athletes showing a lot of respect Action. for each other, not a lot of opening up and, and committing to those attacks. They know each other well. It's all about timing. Like, when do you take that attack? Like, you know they want to, but you, they, you know that your the defense is so good on, of your opponents. So you have to be patient, and you got to take the shot at the right time. And pretty evenly matched. Neither one's going to make a mistake, get pulled out of position or moved out of position to create that split second opening to to hit, move your feet, hit penetration, and get in on something. And I think that's that respect you're talking about. But from a spectator's point of view, I like I like to see the action happen. Like, like you know, open it up. Like when I'm coaching athletes, I'm like, you know what? Open it up. Go for your attacks. You know, it's better to lose trying and trying your best stuff than to to be too cautious cautious throughout the match. Things always seem to get a little t bit tighter when there's a medal on the line. That was Stadnik's husband. He's an Olympic silver medalist from the 2008 uh, Olympic Games. Little snap down by Stadnik and, and tried to spin around the Japanese athlete, but she was able to circle and get back up. No fingers. And square up. Fingers. And not give up any points there. A little more active is Stadnik this time. Take a little more risk. Oh, nice There's action the reaction. Action. Stadnik has up. to use that position. She's in the front headlock position, but you can't just hold that position. You gotta use it and look to score. Stadnik took a little risk, shot in on a leg there. Japanese athlete Tosaka able to counter and hit a shot of her own and almost took Stadnik down. 
with the counter shot. Up. Is there pressure in the zone here, looking for that one step up point. Nice job circling him by Japan. Blue contact. So close. Inches from the line there. Action blue. A little less than two minutes to go, a one nothing lead for Stodnik. Blue passive. There's and here comes that 30 second shot clock as Toshaka's put on the clock for the second time in this bout. Contact. Stodnik's up by one. Maybe she's just going to wait here, stay in a really low stance, keep pressuring with her hands. She's really hard on the head, just waiting for that offensive attack and ready to sprawl. We saw Stodnik come out this second period a lot more active. In on the legs a couple times, taking more risks. And I think consequently the second caution for passivity on Tosaka. And two points now lost by Tosaka for that passivity. Tosaka, Yoshida, the one-two combination at 48 and 53 kilos for Japan. Osaka's really going to have to open up and get something going here. She's down by two points. Inside a minute left in the match for this medal. She's the former world champion from last year, last two years in a no row. Hair, so Off the hair. I think we're going to see some offense and some, some opening up here coming from her. Trying to get that left underhook. This Tosaka against Stotnik. There it is. She's back at it again. Contact red. Stotnik circles out of it. There's the low single attempt by Tosaka. Nice job by on the defense, but Tosaka just keeps pressuring in, pressuring and doesn't give up on that single leg. Place red. So now the match swivels toward the Japanese wrestler's way. Looking with that for a two laced point angle. Tosaka looking for a laced angle, but they went out of bounds. The criteria at this stage goes to the... To, to the Tosaka, because Saka, she's the got Japanese the two-point action versus the, the two ones. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, the value of points, you got the two-point action versus the, the two ones. So that's the first criteria. Second would be cautions, and third would be last point scored. Nice single leg here. Looks like she lost it, but she kept a hold of it and then kept driving in. Good tenacity. When you decide to score, you got to keep moving. You never stop your feet from, from running into it and putting weight on your opponent. Goes right to the attempted ankle lock. Center. You see the smile. Champions know how much time is in the match. And Eri Tusaka, ranked number one, captures her third straight world championship. And she needed every second on the clock to get it done as she ends up with the victory. And a first gold medal tonight for Japan. The come from behind victory, the win by criteria, scoring a two-point takedown. Versus the two.